Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about spinners. If you haven't already, please subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys wanna see, and um, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, we are gonna get right into this today. From start to finish, how to start learning how to hit a spinner, and what's the highest level of spinner. We always talk about the importance of understanding the lie, and I can't emphasize this enough. It is so important to understand which way is the grain going? Is it dry enough? Is it warm enough? What is the golf ball like? Is the ball sitting up? Is the ball sitting down? Today, I'm going to strictly stick with my lob wedge because we're gonna, this is like the ultimate spinner video. We're gonna start out with how I recommend that everyone chips. Pretty big, pretty slow. And when you have a good lie, when the ball's sitting up and you have a good lie, the ball will spin. It will spin. I'm gonna hit a couple shots where I go nice, long, and slow, okay? Club face is a little open, narrow stance. Ball's about in the middle, hands a little forward, little inside, big. That's just, that had a ridiculous amount of spin. You know, everyone, we talk so much about, oh man, he's giving himself a good lie. I've never seen a good golfer hit a spinner from a bad lie. Part of being able to hit a spinner is actually acknowledging, understanding the nuances of really what's possible and what's not. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna go nice and big, nice and big. Pretty slow, loads of spin, loads of spin. Now we're gonna start getting into club head speed, how club head speed is created. To create a lot of club head speed, what grip is necessary? And this is, this is gonna blow some of you away or maybe break the internet. The grip that's necessary to have the ultimate club head speed through the ball, the highest club head speed through the ball is actually a pretty strong grip. When it's weak and you have your chest turning and trying to square that club face up, it's not as fast as if your grip is really strong and you go up and as you come down, you almost, you almost stop your hands. You almost grab the club tighter and all the energy will go to the club head and it, it will speed up. And that's how you really create a lot of speed. If, if, you, watch, if you watch guys like Tiger hit, hit a big spinner, he doesn't have this big rotating uh, follow through to create speed. It's actually very abrupt and short. And it's like, wow, it's so short. Like how does it create all that speed? Club goes up, it's being unloaded into the ball and and you almost stop. And as if you, as, as the stronger you are, then you stop your body. You know, e energy is conserved, and that that speed, that energy goes all the way to the club head. I'm going to demonstrate. This is like the only way. If you really want to hit a shot where it goes a little bit by, and you're actually going to spin this ball back, because the first two stopped, had a ton of spin. Now that this is. This is gonna be kind of like the next level. Open club face. Oh, that, that actually spun back. That was amazing. That actually spun back. And if you watch that swing, you could see how much I, I stopped my body and stopped my hands. And as I stop my body and stop my hands, there's so much club head speed that it kind of continues up and I'm still trying to stop it. So it's not this like lifting motion, it's actually a stopping motion, but that's where the club wants to go. Let me demonstrate one more time. Open club face, 
pretty strong grip. Oh, that's unbelievable. That was pretty good. And understanding about if you can't do the slow big swing and make decent golf ball contact, you won't be able to speed it up and understand how to really make that solid ball contact. So many people talk about, oh, you need a lot of speed. You need a lot of speed through the ball. Yes, if you're going to spin the ball a lot, you need a lot of speed. But the ball contact is number one. You've got to get good ball contact. So if you had slow speed, good ball contact, your ball will spin. The second thing is to spin it more, you need that same level of ball contact and have speed. But you can't do it the other way around. If you see guys who kind of set it wide or dump and really turn their chest, you will, you will know that they don't spin it as much as the guys who set it and stop and really like stop their hands. They, they don't spin the ball as much. Guys who kind of set it and rotate their chest. It's, it's spinny, but it's not the spinniest. I'm gonna hit a couple more shots. I'm gonna throw it a little bit farther back. I'm gonna try to really rip this one back. And just to, just to be clear, we're only 25 yards away. That was super good. That, that spun a lot. And, and the, the hard part is actually, it's, it's launching the ball pretty high and getting the spin. It's easy to hit down on it and you have a lot of spin, but if it's skipping forward, it's just not gonna spin that much. I had just right now, the, the grass is in perfect condition. It's dry, it's healthy, ball sitting up, and I have the ability to just make really, really good ball contact, and I know that it's not gonna slip up the face. I'm gonna hit one, I'm gonna hit this one out to the right. A little bit out to the right and kind of almost draw it back a little bit. Uh, wasn't as good as my first five. But I want you to see the difference between some of my first few swings where they're long and slow, pretty good amount of spin. And you know, that I, I practice that a lot. And as I get a little bit more confident, I start to, as I come down, I almost stop my hands and my body where that club head releases, allowing, feeling where that club head goes seeing how that goes through. And it's not, you're not pushing the club head through, you're actually stopping. I want you guys to give that a try. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you feel, if you have any other questions. You know, this is a fun video for me to make. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.